All right. And these ones, uh, the only ones that we're going to be um, doing any kind of uh, filtering on are the get contacts where we're passing something in, like a category ID. Uh, so we definitely do want to do cat ID is equal to int val cat ID. And same thing with get contacts. So that way we make sure our ID is equal to int val ID. Copy and paste this last one. And that should be it. Now we'll go back over to our application and we will, oops, this is actually going to be YouTube slash PHP slash in action. Oh, I got an error in my functions line. Whoops, what line was that? 167. Uh, where I jumped, uh, I jumped down a little bit. I removed my closing bracket, so that should take care of that. And we'll refresh. Uh, oh, this was from a previous uh, file change that I made. Um, the next video I'm going to be doing is uh, tokens. So get token field was from that. I will go ahead and remove that, uh, which is All right, so that should be all set now. Uh, so if I do Nick and one, two, three, four, login. Uh, I don't want to save the password ever. Oops, my login is incorrect. One, two, three, four. Oh, in my uh, in my process login, I accidentally put in password. It should be pass is the uh, key that's getting passed over in the post array. Uh, so once I make that change, I save it. And now I can tr uh, retry this. Log in, and it works successfully. Um, if I were to take out, let's see, if I were to remove this, uh, no, I'm going to do it on username. It'll work better. So where username is equal to, and uh, where I am using single quotes here to wrap around username. If the hacker knows that, then I can go out to my form, I'll log out. And in my username, I'm gonna type in a single quote to close that, or one is equal to one. And it doesn't matter, I could type anything in here, which is exactly what I'm typing in. And this should allow me to go through. Uh, which it does not. Uh, what I need to do, which I completely forgot about and started uh, started testing, is I need to set my username equal to post username, and that's going to. And I apologize if the if the video skipped right there. Um, I accidentally hit the stop button and I'm trying to pick up where I left off. But this is a piece that I overlooked. Uh, so my username variable was empty before. Uh, so this would be like you were just getting the post value right out of the, the post array. Um, so we're going to save that and we'll come out to our form here. Oops, don't mind that. And my username, I'm going to finish off the quote because if we look at our query, and this is a, a hacker who anticipates having a single quote around our variable or our username in the, uh, the query string. So we're going to finish off that single quote. We're going to type in or one is equal to one. And then you have two options. You can either do hash hash or a, a hashtag or dash dash. And that's a, that's going to be a comment in a PHP. So if someone isn't hasn't set their site up correctly, this could actually work as a hack. I'm not showing you how to hack into anything, so don't use this. Um, this this is just for demonstration purposes only, for you to prevent your site from being hacked. Uh, so if I click login, we have not entered a password. So if I click on login, I'm automatically going to go to my my screen because it anticipates or it sees that yes, we have one record where one is equal to one. So that's always going to be true. 
and that's that's one way people can get in. Uh, so now if we were to switch that back, if I were to get rid of this user name line, save this and retry that hack, this should not work. So we're going to log in and it does not. Um, it's automatically going to comment this out and it's going to prevent anything from actually getting run. Um, so single quotes, double quotes, anything like that, it's going to remove any quotes in there so that the, the hacker cannot uh, prevent your script or uh, cannot try and manipulate your script. Uh, so if we go back over here, and I'm actually echoing out my query still, which I shouldn't be, uh, so we'll get rid of that. And that's pretty much it to, to prevent hackers from getting into your uh, or manipulating your query strings and making them do what they want. Um, there is a little bit more to it. There's some other things you can try. Um, and I would definitely do uh, form validation beyond what I have here. Um, so I am going to be doing uh, token strings next, uh, which is really, really important. It helps prevent uh, cross-site attacks. And it also um, ensures that the user that's submitting the information is actually the user uh, that submitted the form. Uh, which I'm going to explain that here in a few minutes, but stay tuned for that video.